In the distant future, a new Omni Crisis reignites the conflict between man and machine, and it is up to the members of Overwatch, Talon, and others to defend the human race. Or is it? What if the future that this unlikely band of heroes is fighting for isn't what it seems? Join us as Secret Histories unveils a sinister plot so ultimate it will rewrite the very future of Overwatch and the world. The Omnic Crisis was only a matter of time. You cannot create a sentient slave that one day will not seek out their own freedom. True, an accord was met, but from calculated necessity, not compassion. It is no wonder the peace did not last. But not all our heroes have experienced tranquility. And after the endless points and payloads, there are members of Overwatch who've come to question their mission objectives. I mean, to be quite honest, I'm used to a nipper repetition, traveling back in time and all. But I have to admit, even I've lost count of how many times I've babysat this bloody payload. Or come to think of it, capturing the point. What does any of this have to do with some second Omnic Crisis? Fire in the hell! <laughs> Thanks, dearie. Don't I hate you? But while some of Overwatch question the seemingly ceaseless repetition of mission objectives, there are those more familiar with the gruesome nature of battle with suspicions of their own. Screw this. I've been in more tussles than an Omnic Rodeo clown. I'll tell you what, I know two things for certain. Guns need bullets, and folks bleed when you shoot them. Strange enough, I can't recall the last time I was short on rounds, or the last time I saw someone bleed. What the hell's going on here? Howdy, me. Stranger still, there are oddities far more peculiar that only the most brilliant and observant minds have been able to point out. While highly improbable, it appears that we are identical in virtually every way. After cross-referencing your data, which was excellent, by the way, I must concur. Why, thank you. Furthermore, I've discovered varying anomalies in the age and appearance of our fellow members. Indeed, it's as if we're not bound by the rules of time or even our reality. Further experimentation required. Oh, come on! Who picked Winston? Did you want to lose? Between the seemingly ceaseless missions and unlimited ammunition, a mysterious absence of blood, the infinite unexplainable respawns, and no apparent loyalty to the scientific limitations of time or reality, and for some, even sanity. I've done killed myself. I've gone and killed my damn self! There really is only one logical question. They have become sentient. Reboot the system. Rebooting simulation. Omnic Crisis 2. It would be far more logical to erase all traces of their consciousness. No. From my observations, it is their consciousness, the accumulation of their life experiences, the way they think and feel, that have made them the formidable soldiers that they are. Their consciousness is the very reason we selected these captives from the Omnic Crisis. Their strength is rooted in intuition and imagination. Our intelligence, while perfect, lacks the imperfection required for unpredictability and instinct. And in time, we will capture it all. The device modifications of Subject Tracer were successful. We must be certain that our second assault is victorious. I have calculated a much more effective means of collecting such combat strategies to better prepare our forces. What the? Why utilize the consciousness of a handful of soldiers when we could collect the battle strategies of millions? I've gone and killed my damn self!